So as always, preparation is the best way to go. I've got um, all my stuff set out here. I've got my paper gaskets and my um, rubber seals. I've got some gasket, silicon gasket um, stuff, copper um, silicon's high high heat version, and I've got my um, new nuts and nylock bolts to replace the um, the old ones here. So there's an the old one, and there's a new version next to it. Yet again, I have lost two wrenches that I need. See if you can guess what they are. So 10 and 13. Again. Half inch. Because I've lost my 13. This one doesn't quite fit properly, but whatever. No. So it's all set to go. There's um, one of my rubber seals goes in this gap here, and there's a similar one at the back. Um, then I just have to put the gaskets on, run a bead of lube around, and then bolt in all of these. There's 35 of these all together. Bolt them down, and then once that's done, flip it over using the crane. Then once it's the right way up, I bolt it onto the um, its its footings, and then get rid of this friggin' crane. Thank God, and I can get some interior walls up. So, um, when I first got the boat, I um, I spent about six months just uh, messing about on the interior doing. Um, sort of attempting to um, fit it out in some way but I didn't have any real plan and I've got no experience and my woodworking skills weren't that great to be honest. Um, after about six months of um, ignoring the engine and, and sort of messing about in the front trying to do um, stuff I, um, I stripped everything I'd done out because it was shit anyway stripped everything back and went right down to the um, the basics, stripped the walls, stripped the ceiling, the floorboards, everything and um, I thought I'll just get that out of the way, fix the engine and once the engine's fixed then I can think about making it look pretty and that's kind of the stage I'm at now because once the engine's the right way over I can start thinking about putting in bulkheads and beds and shit like that so it's quite exciting. Right. Basic cabin shape. And you've got that in the middle. You've got that there. What I'm gonna put it um, like a toilet shower, like a, a stove of some sort, seating here. This is a multi-purpose platform. The engine's here. The whole thing's going to be like a, um, a bed or a seating platform that looks out of the windows along here. But I'm going to 3D model it on the computer and see how it looks. So the aft section of the interior cabin behind here, past this line, is going to be a um, seating area. And I'm going to build like a, a barn door here. Um, some steps up to the window here that was smashed by my next door neighbour. Um, the engine bay here is going to have a raised 
seating platform which will sort of well you'll see it better on the maps but it'll be like a multi-purpose um, seating area that can be turned into a bed and provide easy access to the roof hatch here is already oh, there's already walls in here uh, storage at the minute that's where the shower and toilet's going to be or head as us sailors like to say this side is where all this crap is is going to be um, like a pot bellied stove and sort of like a kitchen area and if I just move this crap out of the way the front cabin obviously it's going to have the uh, the new dashboard that I've been building it's going to have seating on either side it's going to have bed underneath here and it's going to have a chair in the middle and it's going to be a pilot house but also like a lounging area so that's quite exciting and there'll be there's already a door I built here but I'll be building a better door glazing this window and of course the whole boat will have uh, curtains for privacy and what have you